How's it going, my sweet boys? It's your internet anime daddy, Allie, here. And last week, we left off with the fight before Metaton, and today, that's what we're starting off doing, killing our sweet robotic boy. He's a beautiful boy, and I love him, but he has to die. See you in there. My, my, so you finally arrived. After our first meeting, I realized something ghastly. You're not just a threat to monsters, but humanity as well. As any true fan would know, I was first created as a human eradication robot. Come any closer and I will be forced to show you my true form! But you do! I'm ready for this beautiful boy. Oh, I wanna date you. Check, I can only check him out. What a shame. All right, my sweet boy. What? I was waiting. I saved a whole week. I waited a whole week for a fight. Guess you don't want to join my fan club. Oh no, my beautiful boy! No! My beautiful boy. What have you done, Daddy? That was my beautiful boy! Oh, what a waste of a beautiful boy. What a waste. He was gonna be my sweet boy. Daddy, I hate you. Where do you want me to go? Oh, you're gonna take me? Okay. Escort the Daddy. I understand. Daddy doesn't care. Take me to the fair. Seems he doesn't care. Daddy. Daddy wasn't there. Wow, are we in New York City, fam? The elevator is in use. Oh, fam, Sumi Masari. Mm, are we in Rome? No. This is Attack on Titan. Jaeger! Mikasa! Jaeger! Gude no Yumiya! This is this is great, isn't it? It's so peaceful in here. There's literally nothing happening. Did... Why does this this kind of reminds me of the ruins, like with Toriel? The the leaves make no sound. Oh. New home? Sumi Masari? Why is this Tori? And it's all blocked off! He leaves them in the kitchen and the hallway. What do you mean he leaves them in the kitchen and the hallway? It's a golden flower. Okay, fam. He leaves them in the kitchen and the hallway. What? Lady, you finally made it home. Remember when we used to play here? <laughs> Boy, today's gonna be just as fun. Excuse me. A key? Kagiyo. You took the key and put it in your phone's on your phone's keychain. Oh, that's cute. There is some white fur stuck in the drain still. No chocolate. Fam, did you eat the chocolate? I've read this already. Is this my house? Stove top. It's a trash can. It's full of crumpled up re recipes for butterscotch pie. It's a great reading chair, but it doesn't seem like anyone uses it. The clothes are still warm. I remember when I first woke up here in the garden. I was so scared. I couldn't feel my arms or my legs. My entire body had just turned into a flower. Mom! Dad! Somebody help me! I called out. But nobody came. I'm sorry, fam. You used to be a human? A human boy like me? Nothing useful. I have presents. There's a heart-shaped locket inside the box. Will you take it? Knife inside the box. Will you take it? Yes! Yes! The genocide route. It's been full of mistakes. 
Knife inside the box. Will you take it? Yes. You got the real knife. Whoa. It's just a straight up knife, fam. Wait, why are there two beds? His bed? Who's his? Did I have a brother? Info. The locket. Armor. To Defense 99! 99! About, 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 about time? Daddy, do you know something I don't even know? You're supposed to be me, my sweet boy. Eventually, the king found me crying in the garden. I explained what had happened to him. Then he held me, Daddy. He held me with his tears in his eyes, saying, There, there, everything is going to be all right. He was so emotional. But for some reason, I didn't feel anything at all. Wait, I don't... It used to be Toriel's room and then the under-renovations room. What is this place? The entries are always the same. It's a king-sized bed. Nothing... Is the... Is this Asgore's room? It's a trophy. Number one, Nose Nuzzle Champs 98. That's cute. I don't understand. It's me. Daddy. I unlocked the chain. That's cool. You're narrating yourself now. It's a little bit weird. Jesus. I soon realized I didn't feel anything about anyone. My compassion had disappeared. And believe me, it's not like I wasn't trying. I wasted weeks with that stupid king, vainly hoping I would feel something. But it became too much for me. I ran away from home. Eventually, I reached the ruins. Inside, I found her. Daddy. Wait, me? Me, Daddy? We found her, Daddy. What? I thought of all people, she would make me feel full again. She failed. Haha! <laughs> me, Daddy, or Toriel, Daddy? I realized those two are useless. I became despondent. I just wanted to love someone. You can love me, my sweet boy, but I want to murder you. Daddy, you might not believe this, but I decided it wasn't worth living anymore. Not in a world without love. Not in a world without you. What? So, I decided to follow in your footsteps. I would erase myself from existence. What? And you know what? I succeeded. What? Y but you're a flower. But as I left this mortal coil, I started to feel apprehensive. If you don't have a soul, what happens to you? Something primal started to burn inside me. No. I thought, I don't want to die. Then I woke up. Like it was all just a bad dream. I was back at the garden. Back at my safe point. Interested, I decided to experiment again and again. I brought myself to the edge of death. At any point, I could have let this world continue on without me. But as long as I was determined to live, I could go back. Amazing. Isn't it, Daddy? I was amazed, too. This is not how the dreams went. It all started because I was curious. Curious what would happen if I killed them. I don't like this, I told myself. I'm just doing this because I have to know what happens. Haha! <laughs> what an excuse! You of all people must know how liberating it is to act this way. I guess I would know better if I had done the roots properly. At least we're better than those sickos that stand around and watch it happen. Those pathetic people that want to see it, but are too weak to do it themselves. I bet someone like that's watching right now, aren't they? How does it know I'm recording? Nowadays, even that's grown tiring. You understand, Daddy? I've done everything this world has to offer. I've read every book, I've burned every book, I've won every game, I've lost every game, I've appeased everyone, I've killed 
everyone. Sets of numbers, lines of dialogue, I've seen them all. But you know, you're different. I never could predict you, Daddy. Am I, like, supposed to marry this flower? He's not my type. When I saw you in the ruins, I didn't recognize you. I thought I could frighten you, then steal your soul. I failed. And when I tried to load my save file, it didn't work. Daddy, your determination. Somehow it's even greater than mine. Okay. Okay, and this isn't Yandere, Sam. I just have one question for you, Daddy. How did you get back to the ruins from here? Wait. I know. She must have taken you when she left. And decided to give you a proper burial rather than hanging out in the basement forever. I don't think I know what this game is about anymore. I'm sorry, did somebody kill me? Did Toriel kill me and that's when I went to the basement? I was all freaked out. Or was this like in the human world? Okay, what's happening? But why then? What made you wake up? Did you hear me calling you? It doesn't matter now. I'm so tired of this, Daddy. I'm tired of all these people. I'm tired of all these places, and I'm tired of being a flower. Daddy, there's just one thing left I want to do. Let's finish what we started. Let's free everyone. Then, let's let them see what humanity is really like. That, despite it all, this world is still kill or be killed. Then, well, I had been entertaining a few ways to use that power. <laughs> but seeing you here changed my mind. Daddy, I think if you're around, just living in the surface world doesn't seem so bad. We don't even need to leave to get them this time. What? The king has six of them locked. What? I've tried hundreds of ways to get him to show me them, but he just won't. Daddy, I know he'll do it for you. He has like six children locked in his basement. Why am I telling you all this? Daddy, I said it before. Even after all this time, you're still the only one that understands me. You won't give me any worthless pity. Yeah, I won't. I want you dead. You're awful. Creatures like us wouldn't hesitate to kill each other if we got in each other's way. So that's... So that's why... Out of my way. This looks like an important area. change that everybody can be a good person if they try <laughs> all right well here's a better question do you want to have a bad time because if you take another step forward you're really not going to like what's going to happen next daddy i didn't do that well 
Sorry, <laughs> old lady. Old lady? <laughs> this is why I never make promises. It's a beautiful day outside. Birds are singing. Flowers are blooming. On days like these, kids like you should be burning in hell. something. I guess I'm pretty good at my job, huh? Yeah, 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 no! Woo! 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 <laughs> Wait. Is this... defense item and it's not doing anything. Hmm, that expression, that's the expression of someone who's died twice Hey, that's rude! You know what? You burn in hell! Yeah, yeah, you know what? This is the expression of somebody who's tried th died thrice in a row! Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, so I just need to memorize the patterns. Yes, that's the expression of someone who's died qu twice. I'm sorry, no, no, that's not a word, I think. Twice, fries, no, Qua quadruple, okay. Five times in a row. Convenient, huh? That's one for each finger. I'm sorry, are you gonna start removing my fingers? That's sweet of you. I hate you. Center, side, center, up! Oh, my tongue is blue from my heart. <laughs> yes! I always wonder why people never use their strongest attack first. You feel like you're gonna have a bad time? Well, let me tell you something. I'm already having a bad time. I feel I feel good, though. I feel good that I have one hit point! That's the expression of somebody who's died eight times in a row. That's the number of fingers on a spider, okay. Oh. My health is considerably lower this time. Okay, and then... I see. I got a lot more health this time. Yeah. Yeah, it shows. 
The big one out. Let's invite all your friends over at the big shindig. I hate you. We can have pie and hot dogs and hmm. Wait, something's not right. You don't have any friends. Then he usually says. Even more help this time. Oh, that was too big a jump. That's too big a jump. I I boy, I I boy, I I boy, I I boy. I forgot it. Oh. How am I supposed to get good at that? Oop. You felt your sins crawling on your back? That looks fun. Oh! Ah Still looks fine to me. Oh! everyone said save your healing items. I'm glad I did, for the most part. Should have gotten more stake in the shape of Metaton's face. We're just gonna try. But it was perfect! for a little wary eye. Not that I'm getting to attack him because I keep using it on my health. getting weary thing because I'm sucking more. How many times do I have to hit him? I'm not even hitting him. <sighs> now I'm dying even earlier. God Keep getting caught there! So I've just kind of been sitting here in sadness and remorse and feeling... Like, how is this gonna happen? Like, but I thought I was nearing the end of the battle. It turns out I was like maybe-ish nearing the end of the first-ish. And apparently that's where I need to use all my healings. So... How... 
Oh god, if I was using my health all on the first half and you what you need them for is the second half, that means I need to learn how to get so good at the first half that one, I don't die and can complete it, but also that I don't need any health. I can go buy items. Okay, we gotta cleanse daddy because oh my god the battle against sands the internet was not kidding Like I've played Dark Souls. I've played Demon Souls. I grew up playing that game It gets harder every time you die and the more you cry and to be perfectly honest with you I was never able to beat it and uh, I have to say this is harder than all of them combined This sands battle is harder than every Dark Souls and Demon Souls game combined and I'm gonna stand by that statement until the day I die. And that battle with Sans. I don't even know how many I did with him. But it was daytime when I started. And now it's very late night time. We got this. We got this. We got this. Right? Right? Right, guys, tell me we got this. Please tell me we got this. Alright, my sweet boys, that is episode 5 of Undertale. Thank you guys so much for playing with me. I'm sorry I wasn't able to defeat Sans in this episode, but uh, he's probably the most insane battle I've ever seen. So I'm going to try again next week. And. Uh... Tune in next Tuesday and we'll find out what happens then. Until then, be sure to subscribe to Slaytrix. We have other awesome gaming content on there that I know you sweet boys would enjoy. Internet Anime Daddy Ellie. Signing off.